life. What's up everyone, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about Bra Brothers. Bra, bra, I don't know how they're actually pronouncing it. I looked it up, but I can't really find it. Anyway, now this distillery claims that it's the only African American owned distillery in Kentucky. Now they make one skew and they make a bourbon whiskey. The mash bill is 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% barley. And this has an ABV of 41 or a proof of 82. And this retails for just under $30. Now, let's talk about packaging. This is a B minus and almost a C here. Now, why am I being so hard on this? Well, there's a few things here. First of all, they I don't understand the 41 ABV or 82 proof here. That just doesn't make any sense to me. If you're gonna go high, go high. Otherwise just stick to 80 and that's gonna be just fine. Second of all, I really dislike silkscreen. I've always disliked silkscreen. I just think that it does not deliver. And frankly, this label is just too busy for me. Um, and it's not that it's a silk screen, like it looks like a silk screen, but you can peel it off and it's just a clear label, which I really dislike. Then the other big thing that I really don't like is that they're claiming to be a Kentucky distillery. That's fine. But this is distilled in Indiana, meaning this is MGPI juice. This is bought juice. Now, if you're gonna tell a story, at least stick to that story. You can't be saying on one end that you're the only own African-American distillery in Kentucky and then you're putting MGPI juice out of Indiana here and it says distilled in Indiana at the bottom. So other than that, um, I do like the bottle. I mean, this is cosmetic glass. This looks like a Tricor Braun bottle. I do love the tappy wood finish with real cork. This is great. Um, that's kind of it. But what about the actual juice in here? Well, before that, do you want to taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, and I will send you my free 17-page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. Not only that, if you want to get a sober hat or a sexy sober t-shirt, once you have that in your cart, please put the promo code IMOBG and shipping will be free since it's on me. All right. Let's taste this bad boy. On the color, light goal. On the nose, subtle and discreet as it gives you this tightly packed oat layers that are smoky and spicy. Then it delivers a lot of the caramel, honey, and zesty orange that you want, but the oak is intense in here. On the mouthfeel, it's delicate and subtle, but once you get past the initial attack of the oak that steps in, it gives you a real solid ride on the spicy side and eventually turns into some sweet oat layers that are driven by the acidity in this beautiful charred oak that is balanced and to a long finish. Now, I want to emphasize here that this had really good balance, even for MGPI. This was good. I did enjoy it. The part that I did not enjoy is that this is just under $30. And if you're going to come into the market with a beautiful story like you told us, and then you're going to put MGPI juice in here, well, that's number one, a no no. Number two, this is kind of worth the money, but now that I know that it's MGPI juice, it's just not. For me, this is a pass. I would love to give it a buy. It came really close to it, but unfortunately, just the misleading for me, that was the killer in there. And at the same time, I checked out the website. It has a good layout. It just needs more work. I know that this is your first brand and this is your first try. This is a good first attempt. I wish you luck. For me, this is a pass. Just keep plugging away. I am sure that you are eventually going to get there. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Please remember to go down there, click the button so that you could be subscribed and get all the notifications. Otherwise, my friend, please remember, stay sober. Peace.